New crash tests are raising concerns about the safety of some electric vehicles, in particular the popular Tesla Model S. None of these vehicles now failed the test, but there is room for improvement, according to the experts. And Phil LeBeau has the details. A new round of crash tests are giving some mixed results when it comes to safety. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, two cars, the Chevy Volt and Toyota Prius Prime, did well enough to earn the designation Top Safety Pick. But the results are not as good for the Tesla Model S, which is popular with luxury car buyers who want an electric model. According to the IIHS, the Model S could have done better protecting the crash test dummy when the front corner of the car was in a collision at 40 miles per hour. The forces that we measured on the head suggest that uh, an injury might be possible had that been a human being. Similarly, we measured uh, elevated forces on one of the legs that raised concerns about the possibility of an injury to the leg. Neither of these was so high that we would expect life-threatening injuries, but they are uh, too high, uh, in our opinion, to earn uh, good ratings for those body regions. Tesla says it's made changes to the Model S, which will improve how the vehicle handles front-end collisions the next time the IIHS conducts tests. A spokesman added, we expect to receive the highest possible rating in every category, making Model S eligible for the IIHS Top Safety Pick Award. Meanwhile, BMW's i3 fell just short of the best rating possible in rear-end collisions. The company defends its electric car, saying the BMW i3, with its carbon fiber structure, is designed to meet and exceed global safety standards. One other thing stands out about these crash tests. None of the electric cars failed any of the five types of collisions that were performed. Encouraging news for those considering buying an electric car. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.